Cocky's gates. They're a miracle of bush engineering because you can create a perfectly functioning cow-proof gate that maintains the strain on the fence with nothing more than a bit of fencing wire, a couple of pieces of spare steel and some fencing pliers. But they got some traps for young players and no matter how many you've seen there's always another variation. So let's look at a few that I've encountered and that'll get you started. The basic principle is to use this piece of steel as a lever to put tension on the gate. Trouble is, if you just unhook it and let it go, you've got a reasonable chance of getting whacked in the ribs or broken jaw. So the rule is, when you go to open the gate, hold onto the lever, unhook the wire from the gate, grab hold of the star picket at the end, and then let it go slowly keeping hold of the lever until it's free. Pull it out. You can just drop it down and drive over it, but then you're a good chance to get that tangled in the diff in your truck and rip it out of the gate. The farmer's not gonna be real happy with that. Just drag it out of the way. When you're closing the gate, put the bottom of the picket into the loop at the bottom first, and then push it up towards the gate. Put the lever around the picket at the end, just watch out for this gap in here. Don't have your fingers in there while you're tightening it up or you'll be less one or two fingers. Push it up and hook it onto the wire. Now here's another variation on the lever gate. This one uses a heavy log on this side and a cable around the top of the gate and that holds the tension on the wire on the gate. To open the gate just lift the log and there's usually some kind of pin here to hold it in place. Unloop the cable from the top of the post and lift it out of the loop at the bottom and then carry it around. To put the gate back up, put the end of the post into the loop at the bottom, loop the cable into the top of the post and then lower the log gently. Here's another ingenious gate design. It's a set of bush rails suspended from a pivot post over there by a length of fencing wire. And the wire across the top keeps the tension on the fence without needing to tighten up the gate. The star picket over there is to hold the gate open so you can drive through by yourself if you don't happen to have a helping hand in the passenger seat. To open the gate, you just lift the rail and take the hook out and then just hook the loop of wire on the star picket over the rail on the gate to hold it open. And to close it, you just lift the rail and hook it in. One final golden rule for all gates, leave them how you found them. Obviously, if the gate was closed and you leave it open, the cows are gonna escape and the farmer's gonna get pretty cranky. On the other hand, if the gate was open and you leave it closed, then you might lock the cows out from their water source and that's going to end badly for everyone. So just leave it how you found it and everyone will be happy. I'm Nick Tate and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the full video, go to the link in the description below and for the price of a couple of gold assays, you'll get the full version of this video all the others in the Fieldcraft series, and anything else new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field.